back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a cooking video. I'm going to be showing you what meal I like to make on a budget. And I know you guys saw my how to grocery shop on a budget video. And in that one, I talked a little bit about my typical chicken dinner. So in this video, I'll actually be showing you how I make it. It's really good for those of you that want to cook maybe on Monday and then have something for the rest of the week that you can just reheat. And also it's not that expensive. So it's something that I cooked a lot while I was in law school because I didn't have time to cook every single day. And I also didn't have enough money to go out and eat. So this will be hopefully easy enough. It's probably not the most healthy because you're eating chicken thighs and you're cooking it with soy sauce and salt, but whatever it'll do and it's something that I was able to eat you know every Monday through Thursday at least and not feel totally grossed out so we're gonna be making baked chicken thighs we're gonna have broccoli and rice so it's pretty simple you can always switch out things for a different type of meat or vegetable or if you want to use a different type of grain but this is just what I decided so let's get right into it so for this recipe you'll need four chicken thighs about 1.5 pounds of broccoli soy sauce, salt, pepper, some type of oil to cook your broccoli in, a seasoning, it can be really anything. Um, I tend to use either Montreal or something with good salt crystals in it, a cup of rice, and sesame oil. So before I get started, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We need to bake the chicken thighs for at least 40 minutes, so it'll take the longest. So we're gonna start that first. So while that is preheating, we're gonna start making the chicken. I'm gonna open the package. And then you want some sort of dish. It can be glass, it can be stainless steel, but what I usually do is line it with foil, that way it's easier to clean up. All right, so now I'm just gonna put the chicken in the pan. It's okay if they don't fit nicely. So the reason why I don't pre-marinate my chicken is because honestly I just don't have time and like I said this is for people who are busy and I just like to marinate it straight in the pan itself instead of separately but if you want more flavor and if you have more time you can marinate for at least two hours in the soy sauce or even overnight if you want but all I'm going to do is take my soy sauce a tablespoon or less and I'm just going to put it on top. Next I use some seasoning. I just have this regular steak seasoning, but sometimes I use Montreal or there's other one from Whole Foods. I'll try to link it below if I find them. Fortunately, I couldn't find them today, but basically any seasoning that has thick salt crystals, I feel like are the best because then it has the most flavor on your chicken instead of just herbs. But I'm just gonna sprinkle this on and then we'll pop it in the oven. And now we're gonna go into the oven. set my timer to 40 minutes. Now I'm going to cook my rice. I just put one cup of regular short grain rice in here. Again, you can use farro, you can use quinoa, whatever you want. I'm just gonna rinse it and then put it in the cooker. So while the chicken is cooking and the rice is cooking, we're gonna start on the broccoli. First, I'm just going to cut the broccoli up and then rinse it off and then we'll saute it in the pan. So usually I cut off the head first and then deal with the stems later. This should be enough for four meals, basically half per head for one meal. you if you want to cook the stems or not. It depends if you think you need more. I might do a little bit, but sometimes they can be a little tough. Now just rinse the broccoli. Just make sure there's nothing, no dirt on it or anything. So about 20 minutes into the timer, I'm going to start my broccoli. I used just a normal pan and I just basically put some oil, heat it up, put the broccoli in there, saute it, and then add some salt, pepper, and sesame oil, and then that'll be it. So let's get started on the broccoli. I'm gonna toss it 
in the oil first before I add any seasonings. When it's coated evenly with the oil, it's time to add the salt and pepper. I'm just going to generously season it with salt first. And then some pepper. Um, it's again up to you how much or how little you want to put, or if you want to do some other garlic chips or whatever. But So after it looks like it's been sautéed pretty well, and sometimes I just leave it, for like a few minutes before I toss it so that each side gets a little more cooked. I'm gonna add some sesame oil, just a little bit because a little goes a long way. Now at this point, I generally wait until it gets to be a little more browned on each side because I like mine really sauteed. It's up to you. If you like it less cooked, you can take it out, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. All right, 40 minutes later, it's time to take it out of the oven. You'll know it's done when it's basically pretty brown on top and bubbling. I think after 40 minutes, you'll be sure that it's done, but you can always cut in to make sure it's really cooked through. Rice is done. to make my chicken broccoli rice dinner if you guys have any questions comment below and i'll try my best to answer them if you want to see more budget cooking videos then i'll make more as well as usual please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos and i'll see you in my next one bye